What's up guys and welcome to another tutorial. Today I'm going to show you guys my render settings in After Effects. Um, what I use is Adobe Media Encoder to render out my projects because it's better at compressing and I think it's a little bit quicker than rendering straight in After Effects. But I'll show you both ways here. Um, what I have here is a edit that I did yesterday for Instagram. But um, I actually edit in 1920 by 1080 first and then make a new comp and add that to a 1080 by 1080 comp for Instagram. But um, first, let's just show you the um, YouTube YouTube render method, which is 1920 by 1080. Um, first, just make sure your project is selected here. So if you don't have your workspace completely um, covering the entire project, it'll only render that part. So just make sure you double click it and make sure this is like completely selected. Um, so once you're sure that's selected, hit Control M. Now bring your project into the render queue and then all you have to do from there is uh, hit Q and AME and it'll bring the project into AME right here um, not this one this one right here um, so yeah so you just name it whatever you want and then make sure you're in, you're in H.264 um, there's a bunch of different options but obviously this is like the best one here and you can leave this the same or where it's at high bit rate and then just click play and it'll render for you and it should be compressed to a nice file size okay now we've got the Instagram composition um, it's 1080 by 1080 and to get the perfect length um, to where I didn't cut off any or make it too long all I did was right click on the original composition and then clicked where is it? New comp from selection, like that. So it'll be the same size. And then you just have to change the settings to 1080 by 1080 like that. Um, uncheck lock aspect ratio to do that. And then I just made it, put a white background in there so that there's a white background because I like how that looks. Um, but yeah, it's the same thing after that. You just hit Control M and then Q and A and E. And it pops in there. And then you know, name it what you want. Make sure, make sure H.264. You click play, and it's that easy. Um, that's why I like using AME because there's not much you have to do at all to get a nice, high quality render without a uh, big file size. So the next way that I used to do, but I don't really recommend anymore, um, is I used to render it out in After Effects. Well, it's not terrible. It's just the file size comes out really, really big. But um, let me show you how to do that if this is like your only option. So you hit Control M like normal, but then you want to change your output module to QuickTime. Okay, and I'll do MP4 format for you, and then you name it what you want, and then you hit Render. But what I'm going to do is hit Caps Lock. So when I click Render, it doesn't do a preview while it's rendering because that uses up a lot of CPU. So if you want to be go a little faster, hit caps lock and leave it on. Um, so yeah, let that render and then I'll be right back to you. Okay, so I went ahead and rendered out the um, YouTube version, 1920 by 1080 and the Instagram version. So I can show you guys how, how to break, hand break both of those. So um, once you have hand break opened up, you just want to click um, open single file and then go to, let's do the YouTube one first. Um, I think it's this one, yep. And then it'll import the um, project you selected. And first thing you wanna do is look into the um, first tab, which is picture, and make sure these are all on zero. So if these are on zero, click custom, and then change it to zero. And then make sure your video is in the um, size that you want. I'm doing 1920 by 1080. And then next, go to video. And I do 60 frames per second, but that's just me. So it just matches the frame rate that you had. Then I click constant frame rate. And then here's the, here's the important part is the compression. So this number right here, the lower it is, the less it's going to compress it, the higher the quality is going to be. So um, this way means it's going to compress it a lot, but the quality is going to be not as good. So I usually go around 10. Somewhere around there is good because it gives you high quality and it compresses it um, a good amount. And then once you have that set up, you should be good to go. Just go ahead and name the um, file what you want. Um, pick the spot that you want. So let's just name it the uh, YouTube. OK, 
Okay. Click save and then click start and code. And that's pretty much it. Okay, so now that one's done, I'm going to go ahead and add the um, Instagram version. So let's click open source and pick the other file. Um, here it is. All right, so this one, just make sure it's 1080 by 1080 because it's Instagram. Same thing, zero, zero, zero. Um, video, six frames per second, 10, same thing, should be good. And name it what you want. Left on Instagram. I usually put HB at the end for an handbrake and start and code. All right, and that just finished. That's really all there is to it. Um, I'm going to show you the file sizes here. Here is the original. Um, file right out of After Effects. Um, it is 120 megabytes, and then this is Instagram, by the way. The Instagram version after I hand broke it is 28 megabytes, and then the YouTube version. See, the original is 286, and this next one is 47. So, handbrake's pretty darn useful, and you don't lose like any quality when um, encoding. So, have fun and. Um, Leave a like if you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you guys next time.